guys, this is Tarot with Kittens, Weights and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of an indie deck uh, by Pretty Spirits, Christine and Lauren, out in Long Beach, California. I actually went to college in Long Beach. <laughs> and uh, uh, this is called their Reconciliation Edition Cards, and I'm always happy to support uh, indie deck creators. I myself am an indie deck creator, um, so I have major love <laughs> for all the indie deck creators out there. Um, and the fact that, you know, it's coming from Long Beach. So the LBC. Okay. So I first saw this deck on, um, V Love and Crystal's channel. Uh, she was doing, it was a pick a card and she happened to introduce this deck and I was like, what? And so I went online, fell in love with it and have been doing tons of readings with it. Okay. So um, there is a PDF that comes with this, so it doesn't come with a physical guidebook, although I think you can buy it. Um, I just, I got the PDF and, um, you know, kind of skimmed through it, but I'm an intuitive reader, so I at least like to give the PDF or physical guidebook a gander, um, but I'm, I don't feel myself tied to it. Okay, so these cards, let's see if I can find myself a, um, regular size tarot card for you guys so you can get a visual of how big it is okay so it's a little bit taller and um, a lot wider than your standard tarot size card uh, but this is a wonderful oracle deck and let's take a look at the back it's just got that 80s feel just the still my 80s heart <laughs> um, you know I love it a lot and let's take a look at that glossiness okay so here is the thing normally I'm not into super glossy decks but I know that if I accidentally spill something on it or get something on it it's gonna clean off right away um, I don't feel that these are super slick when it comes to shuffling. Um, I think they have the, the right amount of um, slide to them so they're not, uh, they don't catch like some uh, glossy decks do and they don't, um, you know, they don't fall all over the place either. So I think, you know, I think whatever coding is on here is great. Okay, so the cardstock, very thick cardstock. I dig it, but I like thick cardstock. So, you know, to each their own. Some people don't, some people do. Um, I'm cool with it. So anyway, um, this is, I would say more geared towards relationship readings. Although I've been able to, um, use this for a multitude of, you know, types of readings. Although yes, when you look at the phrases, when I flip these over, it will look relationship type ish. Um, but I can read with them with anything. So I'm pretty happy with them. Okay, so let's take a look at the cards. All right, here we go. So they're very simple. They have a very simple image, you know, very simple wording, but I don't know about you guys, but it's got like a Saved by the Bell vibe from it. <laughs> like this like early 90s, late 80s type feel. So like I said, some people might feel it looks like it's more just for relationships, but I think it's kind of universal. <laughs> I've been using it for all sorts of things. I've already started using it in client readings and my client, my clients have been loving the images on here, by the way, I'm just saying. I think it's pretty easy to read intuitive with it. I mean, that's pretty clear. <laughs> um, I found even though this is a simple looking deck, I can actually read with it on its own. Uh, usually with a more simplistic deck, uh, at least imagery wise, I like to pair it with tarot cards, uh, but I've been doing okay just reading with this and doing spreads just on its own, which, you know, I think is pretty cool. I like that one. Daddy issues. See, but here's the thing too. I also like that a lot of the stuff is just, it's because it's simple, it has to be clear. Like, hey, you got this going on. Um, I don't think it's rude, 
but it um, definitely puts things like up front in your face. Is it sugarcoating things, but it's also not being mean about it either. Yes, you can see some fingerprints on it. <laughs> That's just because of the coating on the cards. And I kind of like, you know, big-ish cards. I'm kind of one of those people that likes odd-shaped decks, round decks, square decks, large, small. This is what I need to do right now. <laughs> I like that one. It's almost like the lover's card. And of course, you know, you could always pause the video if you want to spend more time with a particular card. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and give these a shuffle shuffle and hey, let's just pull a card. Actually, let's pull a few cards. Let's read a few together uh, so that not only do you get an awesome deck review, but uh, hey, you get a message too. So if it connects with you, great. If it doesn't, that's fine. This is just something general, just something fun that I like to do at the end of my deck reviews. <laughs> that card keeps coming up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's put that there. Now well, let's take a look at these. All right, so we have talk more, sexual compatibility, and you are not being heard. Um, I like that these, these two definitely go together. Um, so the sexual compatibility, I'm not getting that this is, um, like I said, I can read with this like for anything. Um, I don't get that this is about like somebody like somebody else but I feel like um, there's something that you are involved in you know either you know a particular project or you know it's something that you you want to volunteer and do and I feel like um, you know you could do so much more if people could just hear your ideas and things that you have about this this program or whatever it is that you've decided to join um, because right now you you just kind of like being there um is fine but you know there's so much that you could contribute if you would just maybe speak up so um if you've been feeling a little hesitant uh, and this is applying to you and you know exactly what i'm talking about then i'm like hey i'm talking to you and i'm saying <laughs> that you just need to um you know let people know that you have ideas even if they're different from other people's ideas because uh, what you have to contribute and the energy um, and momentum that you have to give is going to be really beneficial for where it is that you are, whether you're volunteering with something or doing a project or something like that. Um, your energy, your ideas are really needed. So make sure that people hear you. Okay. Cause you are the person for this job. Okay. All right. So that's the little mini message. So anyway, I hope you guys dug this review. Um, again, this was by pretty spirits. Uh, Christine and Lauren over in Long Beach. I will put their link down below if you're interested. Otherwise, I just like showing off like really quirky decks, fun stuff, and beautiful artwork. All right, so I will catch you spiritual homies later. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. Not only do I have a plethora of readings and my room of body sprays and my salves and my bracelets that I make, um, but I also have uh, travel witch altar pendants, ancestral altar pendants, uh, rainbow bridge pendants, my Wally's World Oracle, which was community created and community funded. Um, super proud of that. Uh, and I got that funded last year. So that was a little dream come true. Um, and I have a newsletter. It's definitely 
something that you might want to check out. It's absolutely free. Um, I hit your inbox on the first of every month and it's the only time I uh, email you anything. But it has uh, witchy DIYs, arts and crafts DIYs, channels that I'm watching, crystals that I'm using, decks that I'm using, etc, etc. If that interests you, go ahead and sign up and make sure you stay tuned uh, for more information on when the official opening of my Leon Mystery School will be going on. Uh, that will be in October sometime. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to be myself and six other wonderful teachers that you might recognize from here on YouTube uh, will be the uh, first to teach in my Leon Mystery School. So I'm super excited about that. <laughs> um, and if you want to throw a little love my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot. All right, so I will catch you spiritual homies later. All right, peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.